the glory. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Ye baba ye kapa shinte vi kapura ba. Ye baba ba rebo se ke ar kapa senta vi kapura ba. Ye kapa sheri kauri kapura ba. Ye kapa pa ye gaba ba ye kapa ze kende vi kapura ba. Ye kapapa ye kapa sheke ar kapa senta li kapura ba. Ye kapapa ye kapa masheri kauri. Roko po zonto li masheke ar kapa senta. Ye kapapa ye kapapa ye kapa masente li kapura ba. Ye kapapa ye kapa masheri kauri kapura ba. Roko po mozonto li kapura ba. Repo sheri kauri. Ni kapapa ye kapapa ye kapa masake nde ar kapa senta. Ye kapapa ye kapapa ye kapa masente li kapura ba. Ge po soto yoru kapu senta li kapu raba re ke po soke ya ye. Ye kapu ma zeke yoru kapu senta li kapu raba ye kapu zeke yoru kapu senta. Thank you, Jesus. Um, this music is, you know, getting me some interruptions in the in the section. So I want to cut it off because it's cutting off this um, broadcast. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's another one I want us to. A lot of us they keep coming into my into my ears. Lot of us. This one, this, this is the song that's really coming into my spirit right now. Lot of us. But I will thank you, Jesus. Thine is the key. Kingdom, the power, the glory. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. We push the Rabba Mazanta. We cap up our Rabba Mashiri Kauri. 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 
Makayaraba Mashiri Kauri, Roko Pozonto Lima Shiri Kauri, Ye Kapapa Ye Kapa Makuri Kapuraba Repo Sekia, Riba Baba Lima Sekia Rukapzente Akapa Makuri, Gepo Sonto Lima Shiri Kauri, Riba Baba Ye Kapa Mashiri Kauri Mosek and Deli Kapuraba, Garaba Mazekia Rukapzente Akapa Makuri Kapuraba Rike Pozekia, Garebo Mazenta Li Kapuraba Rike Posheri Kauri, Ye Kapapa Lima Maya Kapa Makuri Kapuraba Rikapzekia. Ye kapapa ye gaba masheri kauri ya kapa makuri kapora ba re kapuze kia kepo sonto li kapora ba re kapuze kia re kapuze nta li kapora ba re kepo zekia ye kapapa ye kapa masheri kauri ya kapa makuri kapora ba le kapapa ye kapapa ye kapa masheke ya re kapuze nta li kapora ba ye kapapa ye kapa masheri kauri ya kapa makuri kapora ba ro kopo mozonto li kapora ba re kepo zekia. Ye kapa sheri kauri kapura ba li kapuze makaya raba masheri kauri ye kapa makuri roko pozon choli masheke ya kapuze nta li kapura ba ye kapa pa riko pozon choli masheke ya thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Ye kapa pa ye kapa sheri kauri. Kapa pa ye kapa ma sheri kauri ya kapa ma kuri. Ri papa ye kapa sheri kauri. Ni kapa ye kapa ma zekende li kapura ba reke pozeke ya. Ye papa ye kapa ma sheri kauri ya kapa ma kuri. Ke poso nto li ma sheri kauri. Ye papa ye kapa ma zekende li kapura ba. Oh God, you make the mountains now come rest to love some we. God of us, your widows, widows in the fire, widows as a shelter, widows in the storm. Ah, oh, you will lead us. Through the fiercest battle, oh, we are rich, we will go between the Lord of us. Ye kapa masekea, ne kapa pa ye kapa masekea, riba ba ye kapa masekende li kapora ba. Ye kapa pa ye kapa masekea rukapuzenta, ne kapa pa ye kapa masheri kauri, robo mozonto li kapora ba rikapuzekea. Ye kapa pa ye kapa masheri kauri, mozonto li kapora ba rikapuzi koro masekea. Ne kapa pa ye kapa masheri li kapora ba ribo mozoko ya rukapuzenta. Ye kapa sheri kauri, maseke ya rukapuzenta li kapura ba. Ye kapa pa ye kapa makari kapura ba. Re papa ye maseke ya. Our land is Hezeba, by the light is in her. Our land is city of righteousness, city of peace, habitation of justice, city of righteousness, habitation of justice. Re papa si ke pori maseke ya city of truth. Li kapa pa they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. Father li kapa si kapuri mo zike ya kapa zanta for the earth shall be filled with the glory of God, with the knowledge of the glory of God, even as the water covers the sea. In the name of Jesus. In the fire, we us as a shelter, we us in the storm. A war, you will lead us through the fiercest battle. Oh, we are rest when we go between the Lord of hosts. The throne is established forever as me. The devil does cry. Father Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over our land. I plead the blood of Jesus over the earth. I plead the blood of Jesus over our land. I plead the blood of Jesus over Messianic city, over Messianic temple. Ni kapa pa ye kapa maseke ya kapa zenta li kapura ba. Ye kapa pa rebo mozonto li kapura ba. Ye kapa pa riba ba ye kapa maseke ya kapa zenta. Father Lord, I paralyze every evil hand that is upon oh God. Let us care for inheritance in the name of the of the house of David. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray for Sekia. Reke po sheri kauri ye kapo makuri. Galabo mazenteli kapora ba reke po Sekia. 
ye kapa pa rika pzi kono mazi kende ni kapa raba ye kapa pa ye kapa mashiri kauli thank you jesus Um, as we you know know there is a war for the soul of the earth and there is a war especially for the soul of Igbo land why Igbo land because Igbos are the true Hebrews they are the Bible called Hebrews they are the face born the war for the soul of Igbo nation is very very intense why the nation itself you know try to subject them the they came up with their own ideology that is contrary to the will of god yesterday i i, I don't know where on the facebook where i saw somebody you know speaking concerning Igbo land uh speaking saying that um this person is speaking from the you know speaking the word of god and the problem we have is the mixing of the clean and unclean the mixing of truth and lies that is one problem we have it did not stop to it did not start today that mixing of lie and truth did not start today it was even during the syrian time during the time of captivity the house of israel were also um i don't know where i saw that thing you know the house of israel we are also worshiping god and also worshiping um demons and god say that he is one god true god god is one god true god you will not serve any other god but him alone here O israel for the lord your god is one god you will love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your might now This one thing I have also found out, I think I started noticing this in 1993. It took me time to process this. When demonic influence comes, it operates like a Holy Spirit. Lies at times very endearing very manipulative and you would think it is the holy spirit speaking it to you and um i thank god that, that um for i thank god for the process of learning hallelujah thank you jesus it looks like like um okay i thank god for the process of learning When I was in Nigeria in 1993, lies so much penetrated into the body of Christ. There was in the one, one church in Enugu, it's a headquarter church. I don't want to mention the name of the church or I mention it, it doesn't matter. And um, this church, we are appraising tradition above the word of God concerning marriage issues. It was at that that time that I began to understand what they call remote control. And when you are under that influence, you wouldn't even know. Because it will be working like the word of God, especially when the people you are uh, uh, looking at as the authorities in the things of God begin to speak the language of devil. And they condemning you that is seeking the face of God. For instance, it was then that I discovered that there was a book I, mean, I nearly wrote. The book I nearly called it, um, I didn't write it, but what I could write over that book was so much in me traditional conflict in marriage. Because I, it was at that time that I found out that 
tradition is rooted in the kingdom of darkness. Now, God said, for this cause shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife. Tradition said, you are our wife. And then they will say, if you want to please your husband, please your husband's people first. And then some women become manipulative. And in their manipulation, they start manipulating situations with their in-laws in order to please their husband, not because they really love those in-laws, but because that's the way to get to the husband's heart. At times they would treat the in-laws very, very good before their husband and bad in his absence, so that the husband would say, but my wife loves you, baby. You see? But God simply said, for this question, a man leave his father and his mother, because if you don't leave your people, you cannot cleave to your wife. The, the order of mother is leave to cleave. Without leaving, no cleaving. So any man I said, I'm not going to leave my people because of you. That person is not marrying to the wife. Or, or wife saying, that person is not marrying to the husband. He's marrying to his people. You have to detach. They so forget also your own people, your father's house, so that the king may delight himself in you. And during Esther's, uh, this something, you know, the, the oil of mare, they used to prepare them. And they, they asked them for 12 months so that you forget their background, forget your people and cleave to the king. Because without that, that is how the kingdom of God operates. If you don't divorce Satan, if you don't divorce evil, if you don't divorce tradition, you can never cleave to God. You have to divorce tradition to cleave to God. You have to divorce Satan and his ways to cleave to God. You cannot mix the two. There is no middle ground. And you have to serve God with all your heart, with all your might. He is one God, true God, the only one. You cannot serve the two. Now, our people are screaming, Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. I saw one, one man, one man who came to preach Biafra. And he is, uh, you know, exalting Simeon Ekbasi. Simeon Ekbasi, exalting him that God chose him, da 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 You know, and... Um, he was speaking because that's those are the people deceiving our people. He's using scripture, so he's quoting Bible. Now, look at the man they say that God chose. Let me show you this. Look at this you seeing that? Are you seeing that? What is that thing that is in Simeon's Simeon hand? Is it not the head of the devil? This man is telling you that he operates from the kingdom of darkness. Okay, well, let me turn it around. Let me, let me see if I see another thing about this thing on myself. Okay, let me check this one. Okay, so let me see me on paper for you. So, this man is terrorizing our land. Enforcing sit at home, sending terrorists to kill innocent people. The more he does this, the more he gets his power. Because power, I have listened to Erica. Those shedding of blood is what gives them the power. So the more he gets the power, because he's shedding innocent blood. So he will put on, put up, if he doesn't use those force of violence on our people. The moment he will say anything, Namdi was doing the same thing. Namdi started it all. Anytime Namdi opened his mouth, that Namdi that looks like a saint now. Anytime he opened his mouth, he was the one that introduced the, wash, the reviving of these cultures through the Africa, screaming that there will be no Jesus, there will be no Bible, there will be no other worship of that. Biafra is his religion. Biafra is his religion. Are you hearing me? Biafra is his word, religion. And that Igbo people are going to worship what? Biafra. When I was um, in 19... 
in two, 2016, the Lord revealed to me that my people are worshiping the flag of Biafra. That was when he was drawing my attention. And then when I had Namdi say, then I started looking at the flag of Biafra, where are they worshiping? Then I had Namdi say, do you know where we have sun God, sun, image of sun in our flag? Because we are the children of the light. We came from the light. So Biafra is sun God. We worship our sun God, children of the light. And then Namdi said it clearly. I have made videos. I don't know whether I should put it again. That anybody that will not worship, I have played these videos over and over. I don't think um, if you want to um, know more about it, I think um, I, I maybe I could pull out some of the videos I made where Namdi is screaming that everybody worship Sun God and, and um, anybody that doesn't worship Sun God of Egypt will see experiment and um, they will kill people and, and then if you listen to the testimony of um, some of the captured terrorists of Biafra because they are not army it's called them liberation army they are using lies and deceptions and everything propaganda they kill they will say they are nigerian terrorists they will kill their own people they will say nigerian terrorists anybody that doesn't worship their father in their this thing so to worship son god human sacrifice must be demanded and then those terrorists that we are captured one of their testimonies is that Namdi told them to use ten the head of ten young girls, ten virgins, to do charms so that bullets will not enter them. Is it not in Namdi that commanded them to do that? So that they can bullet cannot penetrate them. The same Namdi asked them to go and free prisoners to you know open prison ward so that criminals will flood the street. I don't know. I have. I don't know. The last time I ever visited Igbo land was 2006. I don't know what is going on there. But it looks like they are taxing our people. The Lord has opened my eyes to many things are going on in Igbo land. But the worst is pastors deceiving. The public deceiving Igbo people as our people are crying as this uh Simeon is interrupting their businesses interrupting giving them mandatory seat at home interrupting their education interrupting banking business interrupting daily activities with his terrorists Simeon Ipa will say the word terrorists will flood on the streets people that don't obey Simeon Ipa's illegal orders they will kill them machete them blood flowing like water in Ebola line because that is what feeds the devil called piafra which is a snake which i have said many times is a snake it's a very 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 long fat snake sitting on Ebola line like this i saw you know like this and then his head up like this but his body is like this on the land, on the ground, and then he said, "Oh, that is Biafra. That is feeding on the blood of Igbo people." Me and neighbor has not even taken it all. Igbo people, if you love yourself, forget about this Biafra. Go on your knees because your churches will no longer hold because your prayers will destroy Biafra. So, but you since you guys are saying Biafra, those people who are supposed to be praying against it, because I once asked one bishop, when I wanted to talk to him, he said, one day he sit at home, I say, by who? And you guys have not prayed, sit at home away? Prayed it away? He said to me that, what I'm just saying now, if I say it, in certain part of Ibo land, they would have killed me. So, freedom of speech gone. Nobody say anything. Say you don't say anything against Biafra in Ibo land. 
most of our people are selling their souls for what? Biafra. They are cons they are making you sway out of life and death in Ibunwabi shrine of people just to belong to what? Biafra. You have to sell your soul and become a member of the a citizen of the kingdom of hell to become a member of what? Biafra. Are you guys not thinking? A holy nation of God. Igbo people, the people of grace, the people of priesthood of God, the people that, that host the glory of God on earth. Don't, don't you see there is a war for the soul of Igbo land? And, and this demon, demon, because that's what I can call him. Who is parading a satanic symbol as a source of power? Showing you one eye, telling you that he belongs to the kingdom of Satan, telling you that his God is Satan, is the person you are saying that God chose. Chose to do what? Destroy evil people? Is it not him? Is it not him? What is that in his hand? Because that is a symbol of authority. His authority came from the kingdom of darkness. And he has to service that kingdom because this man is an altar of Satan. And he has to service that kingdom with bloodshed. So there must be blood. For that blood to shed, it will give him possible order. Sit at home for three weeks, don't go out. On Sunday, when you're supposed to go to church, go to market. I will give you freedom on Sunday, go to market. And then he will ask you, he will say that you're going to sit at home for three weeks, but they will give you some palliatives. So a whole billionaire in Ibo land will go to one kiosk and collect um, some cups of rice from Simeon Ibo's agents. Are you thinking? Are you thinking? Egypt. Slavery, the yoke of Egypt, break it. It's not the will of God. Break it now, church. Break it, church in Ebola, and break it. Bishops, you are doing your church right now because this person is going to stop you from going to church, going to behead you, going to church because Biafra is their religion according to them. No Bible, no name of Jesus. You must worship what they worship. You must. Are you looking at worse than Islamic religion? Worse than Boko Haram? They are worse than Boko Haram. I'm not going to talk much on this anymore because I have talked about it a lot talked about it but as long as the lord lives as long as the lord lives and as long as i am sitting here i will continue to fight through prayer for god to take control of our land for Igbo land because Igbos are god's heritage Igbos are god told me plainly break you know God told me plainly that Hebrews are the true Hebrews, and he brought me into the matter, and he asked me to fight for my people. You know, these people are doing, if one thing I know about God is, he that keepeth Israel will never slumber nor sleep. God has a time limit for everything. God has a time limit for everything. As long as there is one person praying, as long as there is one person praying, if others don't refuse to pray, as long as there is one person praying, God will answer that prayer. 
God will answer that prayer. As long as there's somebody praying, God says that He's looking for a man. I want to show you, you know, that's a symbol of the Biafra. You see it? This is Namde. Right? We have sun God in our flag. We have the rays of the sun in their flag because they are the children of the light. Biafra is his religion. So, Biafra is a cult. If you don't want to join a cult, don't join Biafra. Pray. Pray against this. We have always had those days when we were children, we used to watch film of Russia persecution, where people had, at least we are seeing it in North Korea now, where people were had Bible under, you know, dig a hole in the house, put Bible there and cover it with carpet. So they will not search. Some Bibles are half burnt. Have burnt because then somebody will go and pick that have burnt Bible to read some part of it in this century. That these people had your open eye, this time of enlightenment, internet, that these people are enslaving evil land is not going to happen. I will be on my knees. Anybody that wants to be on knees with me, inbox me. We will not return to Egypt. There is no way back. We are heading to promised land. That is our destination, not Egypt. There's no way back to Egypt. God bless you all. Father, I cover our land in the blood of Jesus Christ. I thank you because your mercy endures forever. Your mercy endures forever. Your mercy endures forever, God of David. You know, Jesus, you have done it all. You say you are the root and offspring of David. The first and the last. You say that the church of Jesus is marching on. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates, activities of Jaffa will not prevail. The gates of hell shall not prevail. Evil shall not prevail, O oh God. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Father, I thank you. I'm your first born and of the kings of all the earth. I thank you for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Thine is the kingdom. Kingdom, the power, the glory. For the old day, repose, who are you mountain before Zerubbabel, thus says the Lord, you shall be made plain. All the eight is yours, O oh God. You will not forsake us. You will not allow the gates of hell to prevail. You will not allow the evil to prevail in our land. For the Lord, I lift up, O oh God. Lift up your head, O oh ye gates. You everlasting doors for the King of glory connect. With this King of Glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord of whose is, is the King of Glory. Lift up your head, O ye gates, you everlasting doors of the King of Glory, comet. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of Glory. Thank you, Jesus. For the Lord, every bewitchment of my YouTube channel, every bewitchment of my Facebook, so that people will not see my. Um, uh, see my posts, Father Lord, I neutralize all their bewitchments by the blood of Jesus. I neutralize all bewitchments of my Facebook and um, YouTube channel by the blood of Jesus. I release my posts, Father Lord, into the world by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I surround the earth in the blood of Jesus. I come against satanic altars on the earth. I come against satanic altars in the land. For you have redeemed the earth by your blood. You have redeemed the land by your blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus has been poured upon the earth. Therefore, the earth is redeemed. Therefore, we overthrow altars. We overthrow satanic activities upon the earth. Therefore, we say that evil shall not be established upon the earth in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I disqualify Trump because Father, you know he is roaring and roaring and roaring. Father, you know that they are many people and he is derailing the church and they are he is their idol. 
Father Lord, people turn to him instead of turning to you and they make him their God. Father Lord, your kingdom reigns, your kingdom rules. Yea, Kapapa, thine is a kingdom, the power, the glory. In the name of Jesus, thine is a kingdom, the power, the glory. I cancel, oh God, his moves by the blood of Jesus. Yea, Kapapa, Sheri, Kauri, Yea, Kapapa, Kuri, Kapapa, Kapuzeki, Kapuzenta, Lee, Kapapa, Yea, Kapapa, Yea, Kapapa, Kandali, thine is a kingdom, the power, the glory. I surround Messianic city, the blood of Jesus. I surround Messianic temple, the blood of Jesus. The mountain is above all mountains, above all the hills. Inhabitants of the air, they flow to the mountain of the Lord's house, to the house of God of Jacob. One city saying to the other, let us go speedily into the house of God of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways. And we will walk in his path, for out of Zion shall go for the law, and the word of God from Jerusalem. It is Mount Zion, city of God, the mountain of the Lord's house, the house of God of Jacob. Upon your mountain you have established the throne of David to govern the people with righteousness, with equity, with justice and truth. Oh God, yea, even as the word of God has spoken and said, for the Lord, your hand has established your hand, strengthened me. The wicked shall not exact upon me, neither will son of the wickedness oppress me. And my father, my God, the rock of my salvation, I thank you for having laid my hand upon the rivers, my right hand upon the seas. And my father, my God, the rock of my salvation, thank you for our God, King of Glory. Even the whole earth as a dust to my sword. I come upon princesses like mortar. In the name of Jesus, you have given me the mantle of Jeremiah. Father, oh God, you set me over nations and over kingdoms to tear down, to destroy, to plant, and to grow. Father, your kingdom in the name of Jesus. We uproot evil kingdoms. We uproot evil establishments upon the earth. In the name of Jesus, I overthrew, I uproot Biafra from the earth. Because you will not return to Egypt. Therefore, the power of Egypt have been broken when you moved oh god by the power of the blood that is okay but power of the blood you destroy the power of egypt therefore i put the blood of jesus over our land i put the blood of jesus over our doorposts the lintels cables like a window post of our land i put the blood of jesus over the roadways of our land oh god i put i put the blood of jesus over the houses of our land i put the blood of jesus against their armies their terrorists against the authority of Simeon and because we will not worship Biafra. We will not worship Biafra. We will worship the Lord Jesus. We will worship the Lord God Almighty. Jesus is the King of kings and Lord of all the root and offspring of David. We are your face one. We will not deny you. We will not become Biafra. Our identity shall not be lost in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. You it is our inheritance, my inheritance. But most part of the eight, my possession, I break them with the rod of iron. I dash them into pieces like the potter's vessel. Arise, O God, let your enemies be scattered and let them that hate thee be like the chaff before the wind. Thank you, Jesus. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. Why do the hiddens rage and the people? Jesus. Your kingdom will never be like I said. You will eat is my inheritance of most part of the eight is my position. I break them with the rod of iron. And I shall meet you with the like the potter's vest. Be wise it's now, therefore, you kings, be strutted, you charges of the eight, serve the Lord with you. Rejoice in triumph and I put the blood of Jesus over the eight. Because once the seas are the ends of the eight, you break the arrows and the weapons of war father the couple the care for the lord you rebuke the bloodshed thank you jesus thine is the king on the power the glory thank you lord in jesus name 